plane. I'm 20,000 feet in the air. I don't know if you can hear me, but it looks pretty clear. Everyone knows in-flight Wi-Fi usually sucks. But this plane lets you watch YouTube without tearing your hair out. It's got fast satellite internet and it works whether you're on the ground or at cruising altitude. Bonus! So one of the biggest problems with in-flight Wi-Fi is making FaceTime calls or video chats. Usually it's pretty slow with the air to ground system, so we're going to try it out with a satellite and see how we go. Brian Tong calling me. Come in, Brian Tong. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, it's Brian Tong. I'm on a Boeing 757 test plane with Honeywell's in-flight Wi-Fi, and on average, my download speed is around 30 megabits per second. It slows down when more people jump on the network, but I can still stream multiple videos at the same time. This aircraft has an antenna on the roof that connects to the satellite network, and internet is delivered to you through a regular router. And it works over water, unlike air-to-ground systems that use cell towers for the signal. This Wi-Fi connection is also used by pilots in the cockpit, but not for watching Netflix. So what this app allows pilots to do is to be able to get up-to-date weather information in the cockpit during the flight. The connected radar helps the plane understand where turbulence is by talking to systems on other planes. Apps also let pilots use less fuel by showing an optimum flight path. Over 25 airlines are installing the Honeywell Jetwave hardware that powers this faster Wi-Fi, including Lufthansa, Singapore Airlines and Qatar Airways. In the US, expect to see planes with this tech within two years. Airlines will ultimately control the system, but even if you're not getting the maximum bandwidth, it's still so much better than watching a buffering screen.